Well hello again everybody it's been a while since I've made a fishing video but uh, I've been I've still been fishing but I've uh, been concentrating on other things but uh, I decided to make a, a pike fishing uh, video it's only going to be a short film on uh, one of my local rivers uh, it's looking good temperatures 10 degrees uh, I've got lamprey with me and I've got trout and smelt so fingers crossed one of those is going to go and we're going to have a, a nice fish so uh, the baits are in in the middle of the, the river it's around about five feet so uh, it's not a bad depth it's a bit lower than normal but we haven't had any rain so uh, let's uh, see what happens it's a bit windy today but uh, it's looking quite nice the colour's nice in the river and uh, I've seen a few fish top already so uh, all we can do now is wait a lovely morning on my local river see if we can get one or two pike we should do it's looking quite nice yeah this is what you want a nice frozen trout dead bait gives off a lot of oil and uh, I think that's what's helping me catch the pike today the oil yeah another good bait is the uh, lamp reel section nice and bloody gonna put that on the hook and cast in and see what we can produce right so the first bait is going in which just happens to be the trout Perfect. Yeah, you don't have to go too far out. Just somewhere around there. It's about five foot. And the second bit, which is my lamp reel section, and I'm just going to put this out just to the side. That's lovely. Like I say, you don't have to go too far out. Well, there's my pike float. Hopefully, going to be taken once again. Fingers crossed. It's a nice um, deep hole there, actually. It's around about five and a half foot. So hopefully a patrolling predator might come past and sit in that hole and think, oh, nice piece of lamp reel section. Right, we'll have that. I hope so anyway. We're into our first fish. Feels like a nice fish. Oh, that was a good kick. Come on, baby. It's a nice fish. Feels good. Oh, it's only a small one. It's the first fish of the day. Come on, Mr. Pike. Come on, sir. In you come, sir. There we go. Nicely in the net. Right, we'll uh, 
take him out and get him unhooked. Looks like a nice fish. Yeah, that's got to be getting on for £10, that one. Lovely. Let's get the forceps. Let me see. Look at those jaws of the pike. Nice looking pike, that one. Yeah, nice pike here. Look at all them teeth. 700 teeth, all curving backwards. Beautiful fish. I'm happy with that. Yeah, you can see how beautiful she is. She's got beautiful markings. She's got a nice fat belly. Lovely belly. Fin, perfect. Right down to the tail. Look at that, absolutely adorable. That's where the power is, in the tail. Well, how about that then? Two pike at once. This one being the biggest. She's still very lively. There we are. 12 pound of solid muscle. I say two takes at once. This was on the trout and the other one was on the lamprey. Nice condition fish, nice and fat, right? Let's get this one back and uh, unhook the other one. Lovely. Yeah, this is the way to release them in the sack. We just get a nose out. There she is. She's gonna go. There she goes. Oh, she's gone into the side. Look. She can't quite see where she's going. She's gone into my neck. Let's see if we can turn her. Come on, Gil. Come on. There she is. Facing the right way now. Off she goes. Into the depths. And there's my other pike moving. Right, let's get that one. Well, another good one. This one's nearly exactly the same as the other one. Sun's getting a bit bright now, but uh, 11 pound, 12 ounces. Another one in superb condition, been feeding well, and this one took a liking to my lamprey eel section. So I'm quite chuffed with that two runs within the space of 10 minutes. Right, let's take a quick photograph and get this one back and get out there and see if we can get another one. Lovely. Here we go, a nice big pike being returned into the water. There you go, girl. So then, how about that? Two pike at once, in the space of 10 minutes of each other. One on the trout and one on the lamprey section. You know, it does happen. End up with two pike in the net. Uh, not very often, but uh, just goes to show there's a few fish in the area. And uh, it's looking good. I've got a, a few more hours left, so, uh, 
Let's see if we can wangle another one out before we go. Good fishing. <laughs>